appears that uh, two vehicles were racing uh, from Hudson into Nashua on the Sagamore Bridge right over here. This vehicle then came around the corner and couldn't hold the corner, started to go off the road. And as you can see behind me, there's a guardrail back there that it actually struck, which caused the vehicle to go sideways and then flip about two times. And then the pole that you can see right here behind me also is where it uh, struck about seven feet in the air onto the pole and then spun around and came to a final rest right here. There was only one occupant in the vehicle behind me. Uh, it was the uh, registered owner, uh, Brian Nelson. And uh, at first uh, they thought from looking at the wreckage he was severely injured. But uh, come to find out he wasn't that injured and it doesn't appear that alcohol was a factor in this collision. And he was actually in the ground even though his roof was here. His legs and stuff were sticking out the windshield into the ground. So he was wedged in the roof, the dashboard, the steering wheel. And any time that we tried to cut any of the uh, parts of the vehicle, it would put pressure on the injuries. So we ended up cutting the back of the seat off to relieve the pressure on his back. From the other side, um, it was actually crushed right down so that there was no access. So we ended up having to pull the two doors off that side as well as this side. And uh, we cut out the passenger seat, which allowed us access in. <clears throat> and we took two pieces of wood cribbing and we placed the jaws of life in between them and were able to put pressure on, on one of the pieces of cribbing that was actually on the roof and the other piece which was on the floor. That allowed us to separate the floor from the roof and the dashboard and it got, gave us maybe a quarter of an inch which allowed us to get his leg out which was the final extremity that was um, leaving him trapped in the vehicle. Um, you know, overall, although it was a lengthy operation, that happened sometimes, but, you know, we got him out um, with, with no further injuries, and he's on his way to the hospital, and I would expect he'll make a full recovery.